Sunday morning, there's the time. Uh, we're bringing in 1600 watts, battery's 82%. Leftover amps after powering the house is 23.9, 24. The battery volts are at 52.9. That's what the different panels are doing right now, depending on how much sun's getting on them. It's early in the morning, so. That's at a very acute angle right now. Uh, there's some figures for yesterday. And that's what the house is using. The hot water system doesn't turn on till nine. Thereabouts, 10 past nine, something like that, I'm not sure. But everything's going really, really good. I've got some um, photos of another fantastic system. There's that many copies of my system around now. And they're all working fantastic. Uh, this next lot of photos I'll show you is uh, from an off-grid farm, another off-grid farm up in Geraldton. Um, they drove all the way down here, had a look at my system, took photos and uh, then went up there and built their own, which is totally, totally awesome. Totally awesome. They did all the DC work themselves and got an electrician in to uh, finish off the AC. And uh, yeah, it looks really nice. They did a really, really nice job. All right, let's pop outside for a minute. Ugh. Yeah, we got the fire going over there. It's uh, pretty cold today. It was six degrees when we hopped out of bed. What is it now? It's at 10.7, uh, and the inside house temperature is at 24.3. Lovely. And we've actually got sun today. We haven't had that much sun. We've had a lot of rain lately. Um, where's the weather book? Here we go. That's the rain for this month. Uh, got a couple of pages there. That's the rain for last month. That's the rain for the months before. So it's been a pretty wet old winter. A pretty wet old winter. It's uh, a bit brisk out here. Let's have a look how this hot water system's going. I can tell you right now, we absolutely love it. We don't have to worry about it. It just runs. That's at 55 degrees. And uh, it'll just start when it wants to start. Yeah, Ziggy and I are totally, totally um, in awe of this hot water service. It uses very little electricity. I'm still waiting on that meter to go up in there so I can show you how much electricity it actually uses, but it's usually uh, using between three and four hundred watts when it's on. Of course, um, as the weather gets warmer, because of the type of hot water system it is, it's a, what do they call them, in, induction, or I don't know what they call them. It's got basically an air conditioner on, and the coils run down into the tank and heat the water. Um, so the hotter the outside air, the more efficient the unit becomes, which is 
just totally awesome. Totally awesome. Um, I've got a solar panel there that's going on the roof rack of me uh, car. We just got the trailer, um, all the wheel bearings and everything done. We're getting ready for our next trip. There's the roof rack of the car. That's getting us that solar panel on it. Quickly going the power room. It's all just, there's another spare little solar panel that I use to charge things up. Little batteries. But everything is just running totally, totally awesome. Totally awesome. Um, it just proves these, these units, these cheap units here, when I bought these units, I think, many years ago now, they cost me $720 each delivered from Taiwan. And apart from the um, hiccups when we first put it in with the Sparky not knowing, uh, doing it wrong, they've given me absolutely no problems at all. We had one scare with an ant, ant's nest being in one, but the unit restarted after I cleaned it out. Um, they've just been going absolutely beautiful. All right, absolutely beautiful. We've been just, just loving, loving it. The batteries are, are going great. I'm not gonna unlock that cupboard, but uh, you all see me batteries. Um, they're handling this cold weather pretty good uh, in that insulated box. Now the colder it is, the less the battery holds, so I am dropping down to um, around 20% dod on these really cold nights. Uh, some 20, 22% dod thereabouts, um, depending on how much power we use inside. And we don't take it easy on electricity, we use what we want to use. Um, we built the system uh, to run the house and I mean we're running electric hot water services, you know, microwaves, um, all the normal household stuff. We don't skimp and it's just going absolutely fantastic. We're loving it. All right, so enjoy these uh, photos of this great system up in um, Geraldton. Uh, his system's been, been up and running for 10 months now, and he sent me a, an email with photos, and he just says, thank you very much, you know, because Silvio had eSolar provided all the bits and pieces, and um, I basically showed him how to wire it while he was down here and he took photos and everything else like that and this guy he is just so happy with how his system performs and that's how it should be you know if you put a system in you should be able to use what you want when you want it when you want to it's as simple as that all right enjoy these uh, photos keep safe everyone I'll see you next time bye for now